John, uh, with the background of the magnificent setting of, of Greys, and you've been a Greys man, you must be very proud that the Olympic torch is coming through here. I think it's fantastic, I, I genuinely do. The Olympic torch and the relay is part of that sort of heritage and tradition of the Olympics. And you know, we think back to three and a half years ago now when the torch left Beijing at the end of, of this closing ceremony there to come on its way to London and, and to think that it's actually going to come through Grays. We don't know the exact detail of the route yet, but we do know those that it will be coming through Grays. I think it's wonderful. As I say, that heritage, the, the flame at Mount Olympus that never goes up, and a little bit of that uh, coming into Grays. And, and really, it, it, the symbolism is fantastic. It's, it's almost like the torch coming here to, to, to light. The, the, the aspirations of people here and to give us all a boost. You know, you think about the Olympics, that beacon of, of excellence, uh, not only in sport, uh, but it, we forget about the cultural Olympiad as well. Yeah, you know, it really should be a message uh, to, 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 to us to, you know, achieve as much as we can for the local area. And two weeks or so ago, you put out a press release about uh, about what Tharak is going to do for the Olympics, and you mentioned this, this is going to be an ongoing series of events. Aren't Absolutely. Now in July. Absolutely, that, 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 that's right. And what I'm not in a position to do is to stand here and tell you what those events are going to do, but are going to be. And, and frankly, that would be wrong. I think these events are for local people to uh, contribute to, and for local people almost to design. So we'll be carrying out lots of consultation with uh, local communities to see what it is they would like us to help them provide.